Hello everybody, this session is about the intersection of sets and this is Vasvi from At Home Tuition. Before we go into the problems, let us learn few properties about the intersection of sets. So the property, the first one says intersection is commutative. That is A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. That's commutative law and A intersection B intersection C is equal to A intersection B intersection C. So this is associative law and the third law says it's the law of intersection of an empty set and a set. An empty set intersection set A is empty and universal set intersection a set A will be A. So this is law of empty set and the law of universal. Then the next one says A intersection A is A. And the last one is distributive law where it says A intersection B union C is equal to A intersection B union A intersection C. So here you distribute the intersection value. Okay, The intersection is distributed over uh, the union that is we do when it is 2 times 3 plus 5 what do we do we do 2 times 3 it is like 2 times 3 plus 2 times 5 right you are distributing the 2 over the numbers so it is like this okay same way the intersection is distributed over the union okay this is the example I just gave you now I just prove this with small example. For this I just take my A to B. So A I just take it as 1, 2, 3. I take B as 2, 4, 6, 8. And I take C as 1, 3, 5, 7, 8 also. Okay. Now let me show you how this commutative law is true. Okay. How it works. The intersection means you just take the common term alone. Okay. For intersection we just take the common ter term between the sets. In union we take all the terms without any repetition. But in intersection we just take the common ones. Okay. So now we are doing A intersection B. So just find out what values are common in both the sets. You just have two there. Right. Only 2 is common in A as well as B. Now let us do B intersection A. This time too you have the common value as 2 only. So this proves that A intersection B is equal to. This implies A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. And the commutative law is true here. Understood? Now let us do the second one. It is A intersection. This is associative. So I, you all know that associative is always with three sets, right? So now I am going to do, we know already what is A intersection B, right? It is 2. Already we have found out here it is 2. And you are going to do intersection C. Okay? So we just compare A intersection B and C. There is nothing common in this. So I say it is a empty set okay in this case it is an empty set it, it may not be always empty now let us try b intersection c first so that was common term between b and c right i just find 8 as common next you are going to do is a intersection b intersection c so now you are going to find out the common terms between a and B intersection C which is 8. So there is nothing common again. This is a empty set. So this implies that. A you intersection B. Intersection C is equal to. A intersection. B intersection C. Got it? So that is proved. Now let us go on to the next one. An empty set intersection set A. Right? So. What is common in an empty set? You know the empty set is nothing but just the braces. You don't have any elements there. 
what is intersection of empty set intersection A will be empty set only, right? There is nothing common. So you can say it is phi, okay? Now, universal set, say for instance if I take the universal set as 1 to 10, okay? 1, 2, 3, because it should comprise of all the elements in its subset. So here, universal set, intersection A, if I do intersection A, I have to take, I have to write only the elements which are common in the universal set as well as A, right? So that would be 1, 2 and 3, which is nothing but set A, right? So we have proved that too. Universal set, intersection, any set would be the set itself. Fourth one is, A intersection A is A only. This is idempotent law. Here, you have A intersection A is nothing but A only, right? What is common in A and A? It is 1, 2, 3 only. So, which is nothing but A, okay? This is equal to A, so you have proved that too. Now, finally, you have a distributive law where you distribute the intersection over the union. So, let me show this with this example. So, I am doing the left-hand side first, okay? Left-hand side is, first I have to do B union C. So, B union C is adding up B and C, right? Write down all the values of B and C. So, first I would write the B, 2, 4, 6, 8 and add up the C to it. So that's 1, 3, 5, 7 and don't write the 8 as it has been there already. Now you have to do A intersection B union C, right? So what is common in A and B union C you have to write. So that is in A you have 1, 2 and 3 in both, okay? So this is a intersection B union C. Now I am going to do the RHS. The right hand side. There you have to find A intersection B first. So what is common in A and B? A and B you have two alone common. Okay. A intersection B is two. Then what do you have for uh, A intersection C? The value is common in A and C. Right. So that is just three. What else do we have? Yeah, you have 1 also, okay? Now you can find out what is your right hand side is A intersection B union A intersection C, right? So putting these together, A intersection B and A intersection C, it would be 1, 2, 3. So you see your LHS is equal to your RHS and your distributive law is true. Is that clear? Here I have taken an example. Let us do this quickly. You know, first one you need to find A intersection B. So you know uh, the values common in A and B you have to write. What is common? You have 7 and 9 and 11, right? Second thing you need to find out is B intersection C. So look at the set B and C alone. What is common there? You have 11 and 13. Third sum is A intersection C intersection D. So the terms common in all this A, C and D. You don't have anything common I guess. Anyway, let me do A intersection C first. I just put this as bracket and then intersection D. Okay. So A intersection C is 11, right? Just 11. And intersection D, right? So that is, nothing is common, okay? So that's a empty set. Now, there is nothing common in uh, this A intersection C, which is 11 and D is 15 and 17. So nothing is common, so you get an empty set. Now let's do the fourth one. A intersection C, right? Just look at A and C, say what is common. You just have 11 common there, okay? Then the fifth one is B intersection D. Just look at B and D and you can fill in, okay? 
so b and d it is nothing is in common right see b you have 7 9 11 13 here you have 15 and 17 so this b intersection d is empty set then the sixth one is a intersection b union c right so let us write first what is b union c b union c will be everything that is in b and c right so that is 7 9 11 13 and c it is 11 13 15 11 and 13 you have already written so write 50 got it now you have to find a intersection b union c b union c you have all this now intersection a what is common in a and this it is just 7 9 and 11 right so that is all for sixth one so here the seventh one it is like a intersection d right what is common in a and d nothing no values are common right so that's an empty set in the eighth one you need to find a intersection b union d right first do a b union d and then we'll bring it to I mean, we'll find the intersection of A with it. So, B union D is, write all B values, 9, 11 and 13. Also, write the D values, D is 15 and 17. Okay? Yeah. So, that's done. Next, you have A intersection, this B union D, right? So, this would be like, you have to compare the B union D with A, okay? So, you find 7, 9 and 11 alone, right? The ninth one is like finding A intersection B that you have already done. And you have to find B union C. That also we have done somewhere, yeah. B union C, you find A intersection B intersection, okay. A intersection B intersection B union C, right ma'am? B union C. So A intersection B is 9, 7, 9 and 11. B union C is 7, 9, 11, 13 and 15. When you find the intersection, it is just 7, 9 and 11. Okay. 7, 9 and 11. In the 10th one, it says A union D intersection B union C. So, have we got A union D? No, we haven't found out before. So, le let us do that. A is 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Okay. 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. I left 5. I'll just write it here. Okay. And you have to add the D also. D is 15 and 17. So that's done. Now you have to do B union C, right? So B union C is B and C you have to put together. B is 7, 9, 11, 13. C is 11, 13, 15. So 11 and 13 is already there. I'll write 15. Okay. Now you've got this. B union C is also written. Now let us find the intersection of both. So, when you write the intersection, you write only the common term. So, that would be 7, 9, 11. Yeah, 15. So, yeah, 7, 9, 11, 15. Yeah. So, only these are common. Okay. I hope you understood this video. It is intersection. I have just taken only simple problem here. Later on, we will be doing some more complicated ones just be thorough with the properties of intersection of sets bye take care